Let's now go about creating another building, but we'll change it up a little bit and we'll just try and go a little bit quicker on this one. So I'm gonna move this one, actually no, I'm gonna leave that one there and I'm going to move, press M, and I'm gonna click layer two. So now it's on layer two. So over here, there's layer two, there's layer one with my chap. I'm going to bring the center point here back to the center. I go shift S to move the cursor, cursor to center, shift A, new mesh, and a cube, 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 cube. Tab to edit mode, G, Z, one, G, Y, one. And now we've got it on that pivot point there. And we're gonna make this building a little bit bigger. Um, let's move this one, G, 0.5, oops, GZ.5, just up a little bit, control L, and let's scale it. Size X, five, so now it's a 10 meter building. And we are going to extrude 2.5, extrude 2.5, three story building. And we are going to kind of make this a little bit more of a grander entrance. So well, how are we gonna do that? I'm going to separate this into our five, eh, let's go, nah, it's not gonna work. Control R, let's go into five blocks and I'm going to select them all. Shift D on the Y. I'm going to press I and then we can do the insert, but I'm going to press I again because I want it all on the individuals. And let's do it like that I say. And I'm going to, how are we going to do this? I'm going to select all these. Oops, delete faces. Now the next thing is now let's go through and select all these again. Control L and I want to press I again. And we're gonna zoom in. And let's go shift D, Y and I'm just gonna move them out of the way. I'm gonna select all these center points and that's not gonna work, is it? No, it's not. So what I'm actually gonna be doing is I'm gonna create a whole bunch of archways. Um, and what I could do is I could set it up so it's a bit of an array, um, but let's just, let's just do it like this. Let's just go 10, right click, 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 right click, 10, right click, 10, right click, oops, 10, right click, 10, right click, 10, right click, 10, enter, enter, oh, there we go, 10, enter, enter, 10, enter, enter, 10, enter, enter, 10, enter, enter. So, this is what we're gonna do, is I'm going to grab all the center ones. So let's go that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That would be very annoying if I said that one on every one. And we're gonna do some funky stuff to make an archway. Not really that funky. All right, I've got all the middle ones. So let's do some proportional editing. I'm going to click on this gray circle. I'm going to select the connected ones to this, and I want to make it a bit of a sphere. So I'm going to go G, Z, and let's just make that circle a little bit smaller with the mouse wheel. Right there looks great. Control L, G, Z, 
Actually, I'm going to go size. That's oh, not going to work. Let's bring it down a little bit. And now it kind of looks like the windows are floor to ceiling, which is what I want. Let's turn off proportional editing. And now we want to select all these faces. And I'm going to extrude. And now we've kind of got this cool, um, cool arched effect. So what I've got to do as well is because I've extruded it and these faces here are going to be sticking to wherever we are. Like it's going to, if I move it all the way back, <coughs> it's not going to go all the way back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the back loops on all these. Okay. Oops. Did I get them all? Yep. G Y. Awesome. Control L G Y. There we go. And so we've got this cool archway. So the other thing is, is let's now add that bevel modifier, bring it all the way down and let's bring it up a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle to be 45 degrees. Is that right? Ah, oh, that's right. Smooth. And let's turn up the segments. And how does that look? It looks a bit weird. Let's go back to flat. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Actually, no, we can we can use that. Let's use it. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to increase the size. Shift X. And we've got that all the way down there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select all these faces and we're just going to increase the size. That seems quite nice. It's more prevalent. And let's grab all these shift D on the Y. Let's get rid of this one, delete faces. Now, unfortunately, I need to split that V once again, because we need to make our doors separate. Control L, extrude, let's extrude it this way. And now we've got our line in the door And let's make some kind of cool looking windows. I'm going to select all these vertices, B, uh, middle mouse to get rid of all them. And let's just bring that up a little bit. Does that look weird? Why does that look weird? Ah, no, it's fine. And let's select these. And whoops, let's just make sure we got that one there as well. I'm just going to extrude a little bit. Beautiful. And there was our double set of doors, GY. Nice. Save. Okay, let's leave it there. And we'll pick it up in the next video.